When it comes to video games, especially competitive titles, there always exists a group of people who would rather take the easier way to victory as opposed to dedicating the time trying to improve one's skills in the process of getting better. For some, the allure and ease of swiping your credit card to gain an unfair advantage is too much to resist, which has created quite the lucrative market for cheat makers and their distributors. As gaming itself gets bigger and bigger, in turn, the operations of these people are scaling up in order to make bigger profits. But now, no longer are they just trying to stay ahead of game developers. They are also now trying to stay ahead of the police. In March 2020, a video game cheat distribution ring was reported to the Chinese authorities by Tencent, and prompted an investigation which would result in the busting of the world's biggest cheat provider in video game history. Operating under the moniker of Chicken Drumstick, the group sold subscription-based access to a plethora of cheat products. Games ranging from Overwatch to Valorant could be bought at price points from roughly $10 for a day of access, $50 for a week, or $200 for a month. A big portion of Chicken Drumstick's clientele was in the mobile gaming market, with many people buying cheats for the incredibly popular Peacekeeper Elite, Tencent's revamped version of PUBG Mobile. They are of course not the only group catering to the cheat software market, but by 2020 Chicken Drumstick had become a little too big for their own good, and could not be ignored any longer. According to the official police press conference, this cheat distribution ring was raking in $10,000 USD every day, just by selling things ranging from wall hacks to aim bots with operations that spanned in multiple countries. After coming under the radar of the authorities in Kunshan, a city just west of Shanghai, a joint investigation began, with assistance from the Peace Elite Project team along with the cybersecurity division of Tencent known as the Tencent Guardian Project. Over the course of the operation, a total of 17 websites used by Chicken Drumstick were shut down, along with the raiding of several locations and the arrest of 10 individuals. On January 12, 2021, police caught up with and arrested the ringleader of the group, Mr. Wang Mao Mao, in Changsheng, Hunan. Quote, For a long time, plugins have been regarded as a cancer in the games industry, especially malignant plugins which seriously damage the player's gaming experience and affect the normal operation of the game, the Kunshan Public Security Bureau said. End quote. It is reported that authorities seized over $46 million in assets, which included $5.2 million worth of cryptocurrency, a large mansion, and a collection of luxury cars from makers such as Rolls-Royce, Ferrari, and Lamborghini. In total, the operation reportedly earned more than $76 million USD over the course of its lifetime. Criminal proceedings have commenced against the suspects arrested in China, bringing even more information to light. Chicken drumstick operatives detailed the scope of their business dealings which spanned several countries, in that their primary objective was to obtain keys from the developers and sell them to customers at certain price points. Bitcoin was allegedly used as the main means of transaction between the devs and the distributors, to prevent authorities from catching on to the large sums of money that were being moved around. Chicken Drumstick was so well organized that they even had someone doing customer service to communicate with clientele to listen to feedback and relay any suggestions back to the devs. While the Chicken Drumstick case is being presented as a big win and that Chinese authorities are taking a harsh stand against the cheating software market, the fight is far from over as the investigation continues in an attempt to track down co-conspirators operating outside of the country. Unfortunately, the fact that a small group was able to develop, market, and sell cheating software which brought in revenue in the multi-millions, the publicization of this case may actually end up encouraging more people trying to enter these shady markets looking for a piece of the pie. At the end of the day, this is still a big victory against the underground cheat software market. However, like an endless game of cat and mouse, as long as there are people willing to pay for software that allows them an unfair advantage in video games, there will be people more than willing to meet this demand and reap the millions of dollars to be gained despite the risks that this type of business may entail. Thanks for watching. We wanted to make this video because we saw that there was a lot of inaccuracies in the reporting of this particular story. So we hope that we were able to clear things up and give you a better understanding of this entire case. This video was made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. A huge thank you to everybody on this list and shout out to Jason, Foxy, Lyra, Mav, Nate, Nathan, Oshio, Sierra, Shampoo, Weeaboo, and Spartacus for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, Marco, Mookie, Daniel, and Juke for being Diamond supporters. Thanks a ton guys, we really appreciate it. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Nikita, and thank you for watching.